you because you're a person. But the federal government, they, the federal government is this is this gorilla, this this um, this huge thing that that is hard to define and 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 can put you in jail, or they can take everything you have, or 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 they can they can cause you all sorts of work and or or not pay you. Or I had all these ideas in my head, right? Right. fear that whatever specialty we've had or, or approach that we've had, the government doesn't limit us to our geographic boundaries. Our fear factor has diminished tremendously, mm -hmm. so I think that's the biggest issue. You don't want to go out and experience these things on your own for the first time. He gives us the tools that we need not to be afraid to go after government contracts and, and he gives us the tools that we need to set, successfully get them and, and complete them. He is strong on mechanical and, and has so much to offer us that makes us think outside the box mm. and uh, yeah, rethink, us, rethink our, our position sometimes. Night. That was something it was that take everything away that it's federal or us not doing federal at this point. The idea that you have a creative way of doing different things that we're not even thinking of or even touching at this point, we can even apply that to the other types of jobs we do outside of federal work. Well, as I said, Frey went to this workshop. He never did a federal contract. Yeah. He went back, got so much work just using the, the techniques he learned here. He said, I don't need federal contracts. So I just went back to my customers and I just dealt with them differently. That's something that's harder to describe because it's all through your workshop. This different way of thinking it is, and I've been through it twice. Right. So this this is the last day of your second time to right. the workshop. So now you've had six days of Doug Reitmeyer. You're gonna learn things here that you won't learn <laughs> anywhere else. Okay. And you can have all the college. You could have 20 some years experience. And we're here to testify we learned some new things. Yeah. We were sharing with uh, Sean, what he shared with us, how uh, he would go out and bid these jobs, anything from twenty-five to hundred thousand dollars, which makes a lot of sense. I mean it's it's not a real big job, but his profit margin was huge. Right. And the risk is so low. And the risk is low. That's what and that's what we were talking about this morning and last night as well. That's what we're gonna go after. And then also just the margins. I mean, right now we put seven to eight percent on our commercial jobs, and then after we get the job, it's typically because they made a mistake. So it's just trying to figure out how to not lose money on the job. <laughs> <laughs> That's the old way now. So if something comes up that you think you might be problematic, uh, what would you do? We pick up the phone. Well done. <laughs> okay. That's pretty pretty simple. You heard people saying that they've done it, right? And they get the right right answer every time, right? Yeah, absolutely. And a lot of people have gotten a lot of contracts just as a result of a phone call. I, I, the thing that I cannot imagine is trying to do what I do without going to this workshop first. I was fortunate that Joe Funk Construction sent me to the workshop on my second day with them. And so I hit the ground running. If you don't know what to do, what, what, what can you do? I can call up back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right.